case for. I'm going to start now. Okay, so hold on. My name is Christopher Herbert. I am an assistant professor of music here at William Patterson, and this is our Bach Ensemble. Um, it's a combination of students and faculty. My colleague, Dr. Lauren Pablo-Palisto, is here. And then we have our eight of our fantastic students joining us. Um, it's been a real pleasure to put a small group like this together, particularly during times of COVID. And we were able to explore a very complicated and difficult motet by Johann Sebastian Bach, entitled Jesu Meine Freude. It's in 11 movements. If you want to look it up on the internet while you're watching, it's spelled J-E-S-U, comma, M-E-I-N-E, -E, space, F-R-E-U-D-E. -E. Um, it has a lot of uh, liturgical significance and religious significance um, because Bach was writing for the church in the 1720s when he composed this. And um, uh, the musical value is also very interesting. Um, it's basically like a Russian nesting doll in its musical structure, with the central movement as a very, very long and complicated fugue. We break this in groups of ten to small as groups of three. So, without further ado, here is Bach's Jesu Meine Freude, performed by the, we're calling, William Patterson University Bach Ensemble. <laughs>
Ihr aber seid nicht leis, ist Sonnen da.
Oh, 